Technology is great, but do you sometimes feel like it's just another thing that we have to organize and clean in a different way? And Canva is one of those areas. And Canva is wonderful. We can create almost anything. But after a while, have you noticed that you have tons and tons of pictures uploaded and they're for different projects and it has been monotonous trying to put them into folders one by one. Well, I found a way that you can move things faster. And I found another tip for you if you forget where you put it, because I always have that problem myself. I'll put something in a folder and then I forget which folder it's in. So in this video, I'm going to show you two organizing tips for Canva. The first thing I want you to do is go into your Canva account and create any design just so that we can get into the, the pictures part. Here I have put one of the logos I use for teaching on this board. And I want to put it in a folder. But first, I want to show you how you can name your projects and make sure you can find them again. Yes, I'll have a folder over here to the left. You can see that I have like some science things, educational things and stuff like that. But I want to be able to separate it out. I could put them in different folders or I could name them. If naming up here at the top, let me just show you. See right here at the top, it says untitled design. I was notorious for not even paying attention to that. I thought, ah, no big deal. I'll find it. Well, it is important. Just put something on there. It's like a tag. For this picture, I would just write math. And then if I did not put this in the math folder, maybe I had too many things in the math folder and changed my mind. <laughs> you have that happen, don't you? Um, at least I can search for math and then see what pops up. Um, I could even put math logo, be more specific, but definitely use this. Take the time to give it a name that you know that you'll use to go back and search for it. Now we want to clean up our bazillion gillion photos in here. I had my uh, granddaughter's been using this and I've been pretty good about moving my stuff over, but her stuff has not been. And I started to move it one by one until I came across a new little tip. If you click a picture, like this and that box pops up up oh, that's not what I want <laughs> let's let's click one let's see these are pictures of them uh, okay let's see this one if you click the picture a little black box pops up and you can um, click it and put a check mark by it I can go through and check every single one of these pictures that I want to put into one folder so by doing that, I can very quickly just put a click mark on all of the ones that I want moved together, and then I can move them all at once. So I'm going to go through and click everything that's going to go in this particular folder, and then we'll see, and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, you can see down here in the bottom left-hand corner, I selected 31 pictures just to show you that I can move a, a lot at once. And over here at the bottom, it has a folder. It says move to folder. I'm going to choose the folder with her name on it and then say move them here. And it's moving all 31 pictures at once. Now you may say what is the alternative to this? Why is that such a big deal? I will show you what you had to do before this feature was available. And all 31 pictures went into the folder. Now, what did I did, did I used to have to do? You had to click the three little dots on the right, and then you would say move to folder right here. And then you would choose the folder that you wanted to put it in. And that was the only way there was to do it. Now, you can see here there's 57 items in that folder, and we just added another one but it's a very quick way. I love this feature. I'm sharing it with you because it has changed my life and trying to get organized. What I would do in the future going forward once I clean this out, every time I do a project, I will just take all of them and move them at once into the new project folder. And again, don't forget to name your different projects that you do. You might have newsletters, different things like that. A newsletter, you might want to put the date, um, put some kind of a title up here in the right-hand corner so that you can find it much quickly so that you can find it faster. Hope this helps. You have a wonderful day. Hope this is a tip that'll help organize your life. You have a wonderful day.